Good morning, it's Friday and welcome to our daily prayers. And as we think about involvement in our community, so we give thanks for our care homes in Western Supermare. There are quite a few and certainly in my area of town where some of the houses are quite big, they've been converted into care homes. And the folk who work there often are very badly paid, but do the most immense amount of love for the vulnerable and the elderly. It's a really important work. And so, Father, we just pray you would bless and strengthen all those who work in our care homes. And now we come to our prayers today. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we are at verse 29 of Acts 17. Paul's speech to the Athenians. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human design and skill. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. So it's interesting how Paul's argument develops. Here we have a God who seeks to reach out to us. And yet it's not just a nice thought. We need to respond. And the way we respond is by accepting his love for us on the cross and turning away from the things which mean a barrier between us and God, our sins. And as it puts it here, to repent. In other words, it's not just a nice thought that God has come to us, we need to take action. And of course, if we don't, there is a reminder, he will judge the world. And we don't want to be found wanting, not trusting in him when we come to that point. So a point of action is needed, as Paul was making it clear to the Athenians. So it's also clear to us, have you actually made that step? Maybe that's something to reflect on. And perhaps also to pray for your friends or family, to pray they'll actually realise that a response to God is needed. It's not just a nice thought. And maybe to pray for someone in particular. A space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.